Construction of the Channel Tunnel officially began in 1988. Eleven massive tunnel boring machines, TBMs, were deployed to excavate the rock beneath the seabed. These TBMs, each weighing thousands of tons, were technological marvels designed to cut through rock, remove debris, and line the tunnels with reinforced concrete as they advanced. Crews began digging from both sides of the channel with the aim of meeting in the middle. Precision was critical. Any misalignment would result in catastrophic delays. Engineers chose a route through a stable layer of chalk marl beneath the seabed. This material was easier to excavate than harder rocks and provided natural support for the tunnels. However, conditions on the French and British sides differed significantly. The French side faced numerous fault lines and fissures, allowing water to seep into the tunnels. Engineers had to develop waterproof TBMs and use grout to seal cracks as they worked. On the British side, crews encountered unexpected water infiltration, which required additional reinforcements to prevent flooding. The TBMs advanced at a painstakingly slow pace, averaging just 3.5 meters per hour.